Yeah, Paul from Evil Fitness. And as I said, I was just talking to Jason O'Reilly before I came up here, and he said, listen, the most important thing you do is your first joke, so I'm not going to do a joke because the fall's dead, and we're, we're finished at that point. So I said, look, I could stand up here for the next three minutes, and I could tell you all about fitness. I could tell you what I do every day. We're at 20 minutes session, three times a week, guaranteed results or your money back, personal trainer, all that kind of stuff, but that's what I do every day. So I'd rather, if with your um, permission, I'd rather talk a little bit about where I've come from and um, how I'm here tonight. Um, the three things I want to talk about are choices, dreams and uh, goals. Uh, choices are, are, are very important. Choices get you where you want to go, and, and it's funny what I found back. Uh, uh, what I found out when we look back, it's like if anyone has seen the Steve Jobs, Stanford speech, you'll know he talks about connecting the dots. When you look back on your life and you see the choices that you made, they do make sense. But at the time, it almost it almost looks like you're taking yourself away from where you want to go. And when I look back on you know my life at this stage and where I've got to here, I've made some very strange choices. It goes back as far as when I was only 18, um, when I, when I was choosing a college to go to, I got two choices. I had CAO and I had DIT. That's how old I am. As I said, it was it's only CAO now. And I got I got offered uh, computer science, or I got offered PE teaching down in Tomond University in Limerick. Now at the time, PE teaching it was the only qualified course in the country, and it was tougher to get into the medicine. But my parents convinced me that. There will never be any money in the leisure industry, so I chose computer science. So my passion went on hold for a while. Um, I, went up, I went off for 12 years, I was a computer scientist, I was fairly successful, made a lot of money. But then, as I said, when the opportunity came around, when the, the recession kicked in and I needed to reinvent myself, I was able to use all the knowledge on that path that I'd chosen back then when I was 18. And, and looking back now, I would say, well, look, if I hadn't gone to, if I had gone to Tom College, you know, where would I be now? Would I be just maybe a PE teacher in school? Would I be managing a gym? Where would I be? So I, I believe the choices you make, they will get you where you want to go if you, if you want that badly enough. The next thing is, is um, I suppose, dreams. And as Mark was saying, there's fluffy, and dreams are fluffy. D dreams are what you wish for, okay? I wish I was rich, I wish I had a big car, I wish I went on nice holidays and lived in a nice house. It, it's not tangible. So what I've done with, with the help of people around me is I've, I've, I've defined my dreams. Um, I know exactly what I want, and that dream then becomes a goal. It becomes something that you're striving towards. And I said, I, I have a very definite uh, uh, goal that, that I'm aiming for. So, as I said, that dream has turned from a wish to a goal, and I define my dream as M M50, um, 17. So M5017, that defines my goal. It's on all, all of my emails, in my signature. All my trainers, all the people I work with, they all know my goals, because I tell everybody, I'm going to tell you guys, because then it makes it, I have to make it a reality, because then I'm letting everybody down, including myself. So M50 is, 2017, I turned 50. I want 50 gyms worldwide, and the last one will be in M, and M stands for Miami. So there's my goal. I've told you all about it, so I have to make a reality now. So now, as I said, I've taken that dream, all my choices, I've made my goal, M5017. If I send you an email, you'll see it at the bottom there, because that's how much I believe in what, you do, what I do. And I said, if you, if you keep it all up here in your head, you know, who says that you've succeeded or you've failed? And I, I believe you have to put it out there. You have to, you know, you have to inspire yourself. I mean, if your goal isn't big enough to get you out of the bed in the morning, you know, it, it's not big enough. Make it bigger. I network five days a week. I'm up at five o'clock in the morning. Whatever it takes. I'm a serial networker. I, I love meeting people. Um, my industry, fitness, you know, you could probably get away without doing I could do loads of advertising, but what I prefer to do is, we're the gym for people who don't like gyms. So what that means is I go out and I sell my business to people, I let them see what we do, and then they sell it for me. It's the easiest form of advertising in the world. 
So as I said, we are really good at what we do, but we have a defined goal. Anyone that works for me knows when I promote or when I open up a new gym, it comes from within. So they all have a big goal as well now because they want to at least manage one gym, possibly five. Someone wants the, the Miami gym, you know? So I say to yourselves, define your goals. Don't just have a dream. A dream is not going to get you up in the morning. That's for when you're asleep. Um, and with your choices, I like just briefly go back to that. Just pick it, pick, pick something. Don't procrastinate. Don't be sitting there going, oh, will I, won't I? Just do it. Because honestly, if your goal is big enough, it doesn't matter what the choice is. I've done it. I, I went away from fitness for 12 years and I eventually came back and here I am. So it will, if you want your goal, if you want it big enough, it doesn't matter what choice you make. Don't, don't be wasting energy on it. Just choose and go for 100%. And uh, I, I guarantee you, you'll get what you want. The universe will give that to you. So I'm Paul from Evil Fitness. Thank you.